Now to exclusive security video of a catalytic converter thief caught in the act of stealing the valuable car parts from an East Tulsa business. And we first told you at six, officers arrested a man accused of hitting that same business multiple times, always driving the same Chevy Impala. Tonight, we're seeing how the crime went down, the police response, and the owner's concerns it could happen again. This is security video Paramount Capital Motors shared exclusively with Fox 23. It shows the man Tulsa police identified as Robbie Harvey making his way into and around the car lot near Admiral and 129th East Avenue in the early morning hours Monday to steal catalytic converters. He was parking his car here and he was coming in from here as you can see. We fixed this fence over here about five or six times and he kept coming from the same way. Ahead, Amer is one of the co-owners. He says Harvey hit his business dozens of times over the last seven months since December. At about two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning, I saw that this car was parked over here. Uh, so what I did is I called Tulsa Police Department and in less than five minutes they were here. Big, big thanks, big shout out to Tulsa Police Department for handling this case. One camera captures police arriving without their lights and sirens to not startle the suspect. Another shows the man continuing to search the lot. Officers eventually found him hiding under a car and arrested him. A head tells us the suspect left these four catalytic converters behind. The value of each one? For him, Probably he'll sell it for like $200, but for us, it will cost us way more than that to have it replaced. It will cost us like, you, you would say probably over $2,000 for each car. We believe it's close to 100,000 in losses because there were, he, he hit about 25 to 30, 35 cars. He was also stealing gas out of the cars. Like he was making a hole in the tank, like of trucks and SUVs and take the gas out of them. So he wasn't just stealing Catholic converters. Harvey already bonded out of jail, despite the long list of charges and prior convictions. Ahead is concerned the suspect is working with a group of people and may strike again. My question is how, how a guy with all of these charges will get bailed out that fast? And what if he comes back to my shop tonight? If so, his cameras will be ready to record and Ahead won't hesitate to call police.